tene te mihi ki a koto kato, na mai, haere mai, whakatau mai. Welcome to the Natural Ozone YouTube channel. My name is Kim Saxton, Director of Natural Ozone, a Kiwi company dedicated to helping you harness the many benefits of ozone. Please note, this video is not intended as personal medical advice. For all medical issues, please consult your health professional. Ozone therapy does have a firm scientific basis. In fact, there are over 11,000 scientific articles published on the PubMed database. In this video, we will discuss how to perform limb bagging. Limb bagging concentrates the ozone onto the skin of the area being treated. Please note, natural ozone do not claim that this protocol will cure any conditions. There is a wealth of scientific data which you can access through the Natural Ozone Study Library to help guide your decision making. We always recommend that you follow the advice of your chosen health practitioner. Medical ozone has been used over the last 100 years to support people with a range of skin problems such as MRSA, ulcers and other types of issues such as rashes, infections and other chronic skin conditions. Ozone is very well documented and proven to be highly effective against most viruses and bacteria because it attacks the pathogen directly by oxidizing the protective layer it can be effective against antibiotic resistant pathogens. To perform limb bagging, you will need the following equipment. Oxygen supply, natural ozone ozonode, medical ozone generator, ozone resistant limb bag, a small fan or activated carbon mask, two silicon tubings, and the natural ozone Home Ozone Therapy Handbook. Connect the oxygen supply to the O2 in nozzle at the back of your ozonode. We have separate videos on setting this up depending on whether you are using an oxygen concentrator or bottled oxygen. So if this is the first time you are using your home ozone therapy equipment, please visit the appropriate video you will see that your ozonode has a three position switch marked M1, off and M2. When we use the settings one to four, we have the switch on N1 and use the outlet marked O3, out one. When we use the settings five or six, we turn the switch to M2 and the outlet marked O3, out two. Ensure that the ozonode is plugged in and switched on at the wall. Which level setting you will use depends on the concentration of ozone that you intend using. This is measured in gamma. Refer to the chart on your machine to determine which level and flow rate you require. Please consult your health practitioner for personal medical advice. In the protocol handbook, we pass on the general advice from the Madrid Declaration on Ozone Therapy from the International Scientific Committee of Ozone Therapy. It is always advised to start low and slowly build up the dosage over a long period of time. In this case, we are going to make medical ozone at 22 micrograms per milliliter with a flow rate of a quarter liter per minute. Referring to the chart, we can see that we need the setting L3. If you are using an oxygen concentrator, allow five minutes for it to warm up. Then turn the knob on the low flow meter until the ball is hovering around a quarter. If you are using a gas bottle, turn on the tap and then adjust the low flow regulator to one quarter. Ozone gas is a lung irritant, so you don't want to breathe in too much, although a small amount and a low concentration is considered safe. Given that it is possible that a small amount of ozone can leak out of the bag, you use a second hose to bring that excess ozone to the ozone destruct function on the ozonode. Use a warm, wet flannel to moisten the area that you are planning to treat. Some people prefer to use a humidifier when conducting this protocol. For more information on this, please see our video, How to Use a Humidifier. Place the limb bag over the area you wish to treat and insert the two silicon tubes. Attach one tube to the nozzle marked O3 out one and attach the other to the nozzle marked ozone destruct. 
using a Velcro strap, rubber band, string or scarf to seal the bag as best as you can, ensuring to expel all the air. Press the button L3, relax for the duration of the treatment, which can be from five to 20 minutes. Please consult your health professional for personal advice regarding the treatment regime. We recommend that you open a window, use either an activated carbon mask or else point a small fan towards your face during the limb bagging and while removing the bag after the treatment. Remember to switch off the machines and turn off your oxygen supply. Wash, dry and sterilize the limb bag before storage. If you have any questions or would just like more information, please visit our website, naturalozone.co.nz. Send us a message or just give us a call. Remember, we are a service-oriented family business and are always happy to give advice and support. See you in the next video.